Hey, Sir Ant, what if you just want to escape China for a little while? What can you do? Well, this is where living in Shenzhen really, really has its benefits. Let me tell you about it. Hey everyone, it's Sir Ant in China and I am going on a little uh, road trip today. I'm over at the Coco Park Shopping Center near my home. Uh, it was a 10 minute little ride on my Blue Beauty to get here. And right outside the back door over here by Sam's Club, I'll be hopping on to an Eternal East cross-border coach which for about 12 bucks will take me right into the heart of Hong Kong from here. Uh, basically, it takes me from here to the uh, border crossing for Hong Kong, because it is still a border crossing. You do still have to have a passport and you have to have documentation. But uh, as a Canadian, I don't need a visa to go to Hong Kong. Um, it's 90 days. I can go to Hong Kong anytime I like. But, you know, there is a little bit of paperwork. And then once I get through the border, I hop on to either the same Eternal East bus or a different one, and it will take me to one of many different stops in Hong Kong. The entire process takes about an hour, which is really quite reasonable considering. So yeah, it's my adventure today. I'm gonna to show you a little bit of my journey in Hong Kong. It's just gonna be a day trip. I'm going to have a nice meal to do a little banking potentially, and to have a little walk around one of the nice parks there. So I'll show you what I find. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping my channel to grow. And if you want to become a supporter of Sir Ant over here in China, it's really easy to do. Simply remember to hit that subscribe button before you leave the video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks everyone. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to find my videos and share them with more people. Appreciate it. So this is the little bus kiosk right outside the Coco Park shopping center. And the bus, I hope, is going to be on time because the skies are angry. It's going to start uh, raining here any moment. Not a problem, though. I do have my umbrella with me for when I get to Hong Kong. But, uh, yeah, this is the, the cute little kiosk here. So you buy your ticket online. You pay through WeChat. You come here. You let the young lady scan a barcode. She gives you a sticker to put onto your shirt. And away you go. It's as easy as that. So as you can see, it's your typical bus. Nothing really too interesting or exciting in a bus sense. But they are leather seats. They are quite comfortable. And even without uh, a legroom roll, it's not too bad. There is a secondary door at the back of the bus, an emergency door. Um, the lights will go off. The TVs don't work anymore because um, people would watch them anyway. Everything that we uh, need is on our phones, entertainment, games, communication. Uh, by the way, my 5G will work perfectly fine all the way up to the border. And then once I get into Hong Kong, my roaming takes over. And then my um, 5G also, again, I have very nice fast connection while I'm traveling around in Hong Kong. So I can use maps. I can watch YouTube videos without a VPN. Woohoo! Um, and all sorts of good stuff like that, but uh, it did really start dumping rain. However, as is also very typical in South China, uh, as fast as the rain came, it's already over. So I'm going to sit back and relax, enjoy my bus trip, and we'll see you once we get to either the border crossing or Hong Kong. All right. I just topped off the bus there behind me. This is the Hong Kong border crossing. Right up in there. So I'm gonna make my way over. I think at some point or another, they're not going to let me record inside the building. That's pretty common in these type of places, but that's okay. But yeah, first leg of the trip is done and now I'm heading to the actual checkpoint itself. Then I'll hop onto the same kind of bus again, and it'll take me to my uh, final destination. All right, so this is the departure hall. This is the area going to Hong Kong. 
Um, I'm not rushing to go through at this moment simply because there's barely any people inside. I'll be through in a matter of minutes, but uh, let me show you what I'm seeing from the checkpoint here. All right, you can see it is a misty, rainy day. This is the Lantang Port, the border crossing. And here is the departure hall with the sign saying heading to Hong Kong. Now, I'm going to quickly come inside here and see if I can show you a bit of where I need to go. But like I said, I think that uh, filming in here is very much um, against the rules. We used to have to get uh, COVID um, proof from these little kiosks here before going through. But uh, yeah, basically we fill out our forms if we need to. I always get nice ones in advance. We go through the health quarantine, which is not even active anymore. I will head over here to a counter for foreigners. And uh, yeah, it should probably just take me a couple of minutes and I'll be through. Like I said, I think they will have a problem with me recording in here. So I'm gonna put the phone down and continue forward and catch up with you on the other side. All right, there we go. I am officially in Hong Kong. A slightly different process this time. It took a little longer than expected. I got really lucky and walked right up to the uh, exit gate from China. And they said, oh, no, you need to go back over to this place over here and uh, register. So I had to go register my biometrics again, but they told me that uh, from this point forward, I won't have to anymore. So basically I had to go get my thumbprints and give them my Chinese name so they could put it on record. So the next time I go through with my passport, they'll have all that information ready to go. So it'll be a lot easier for me. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I walked right up to the um, exit gate the first time. And then when I came back after getting the biometrics done, there was a tour group from out of the country standing there. So I had to wait behind about 40 people, but it still only took about uh, 15 minutes to get through. But I'm in Hong Kong now. I'm gonna go hit the head and then find my bus and make my way into the central Tim Satsui, Hong Kong area and go do all the things I'm here to do. See you on the other side. All right, here we are, bus ride number two. Successfully through the border crossing. And like I said, this time um, I did have to make an extra stop and uh, get my fingerprints and my Chinese name registered. So she told me as of tomorrow, there won't be an issue anymore so yeah, next time I'll just be able to go straight through, which is cool. I don't come to Hong Kong a lot, but it is really, really quite easy. Like I said, 65 um, renminbi for the two buses. Uh, when I do get through the Hong Kong and uh, Chinese customs, because there's customs coming to Hong Kong as well, then I simply go down an escalator, stop at the very, very popular little uh, facilities at the bottom for people who have been um, traveling towards the border and before they hop on the next bus, uh, show the barcode to one of the attendants and they'll just literally come running over to see where you're going and they'll tell you which bus to hop on and away you go, so we're all done. And the way back should be equally as easy uh, from within Hong Kong, I'll simply go back to where I'm getting off of this bus. And then once, uh, I'm turning up the air conditioning here, um, once I know where that spot is, I will just return to that exact spot and purchase a ticket to come back and it will be the exact same process just in reverse. And like I said, I'm doing this on a Thursday. So uh, there won't be a lot of weekend traffic. Um, it'll be just as easy a process. Uh, once again, sitting here on the bus, there are half a dozen other people. Um, we may sit here for a while longer to uh, get more people. Typically they'll wait around as long as possible without inconveniencing people. Because um, of course, the more people they can fit on per bus, the more cost effective it is. But um, Either way, I'm good. I've got my comfy exit row again. See, the exit row is way over here at the back of the bus. So um, not a lot of people like to sit at the uh, back of the bus because they wrongfully assume that you get off the bus at the front. And when you're coming here, you don't. You get off at the back. But either way, I'm not in a rush to run for the border crossing and I'm not in a rush once I get to my destination in Hong Kong anyway, so I'm more than happy to sit back here. It's more comfortable, I can put my legs up. And now that I'm in Hong Kong, I should be able to access 
uh, YouTube and Google Maps and fun things like that without even needing a VPN. So that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, speaking of which, I'm going to give that a try right now. All right, everybody, I just got off the cross-border bus behind me here. I am in Tsimtsachwe, which is in the central downtown area of Hong Kong. And now I go hunting. First, I'm going to go hunt for a bank. I need to do some banking. I've never been to the bank here before, so I'm not sure where it is. But uh, I do have mapping software to help me out with that. I've got my cameras set up. I hope everything is working okay. 